Toby and Henrietta were enjoying their new job working with Applejack on the island of Sodor, but they do look old-fashioned and need new paint jobs. James was always rude whenever he saw them. Ugh! What dirty objects they are! James, enough with the insults. We're supposed to be road models for this island. Finally, Toby had lost patience with the red engine. James, why are you red? Yeah, Toby's got a point. That's what I want to know, too. Why? Because I'm a splendid engine, of course, ready for anything. You never see me working with my paint journey. Oh, that's why you once needed bootlaces to be ready, I suppose. <laughs> James's face went redder than ever and snorted off. It was such an insult to be reminded of the time Rarity had to use a bootlace to mend a hole in a brake pipe on one of his coaches. At Napford Station, James and Rarity left their coaches at the platform and were getting ready for their next train. It was a slow goods, stopping at every station on the main line to pick up and drop off cars. James and Rarity hated slow goods trains. This is so disgusting and dreadful! I know! Us shunting dirty cars from dirty sidings? Yeah! Starting with only a few cars, they picked up more and more until they had a long and heavy train. At first the brake cars behaved well, but James was in a bad mood and even bumped them so roughly that they were determined to get back at him. Later on they were approaching the top of Gordon's Hill. Heavy goods trains halt here to set their brakes. James had an accident with cars a short while ago and should have remembered. Wait, James, darling. We need to do something first. But James didn't want to wait. He was too busy thinking what he might say to Toby and Applejack when they meet again. As he was slowing down, that was the signal for the freight cars. Hurrah! Hurrah! By banging their buffers against each other, they slam them down the hill at a tremendous rate. Hun, hun, hun. Rarity, stop me quick! I can't! I'm too scared to move! Whatever shall I do? Through marriage station they roared, when suddenly disaster struck. Some sticky black syrup splattered all over James. He had smashed into two tar tankers and was black from smoke box to cab, but he was feeling more dirty than hurt. Luckily, Rarity had protected herself with a special protection shield with her unicorn magic. And when she got up to inspect how seriously hurt her friend was, she was so surprised to find out how sticky and dirty that her friend was that she went into a state that she nearly fainted. But the tar taggers and some other cars were in pieces. Toby, Applejack, Percy, and Pinkie Pie were sent in to help and came as quickly as they could. Hey, hey Applejack! Look here, you three. Whatever is that dirty object? That's James, silly. Didn't you know? It's James's shape. But James is a splendid red engine, and you never see his paint dirty. Yeah, that's true. I've never seen a dirty other. So this could be a missing engine, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> James pretended he heard nothing. <laughs> so 
soon Rarity joined the others to help clear away the undamaged freight cars and helped James back to Tidmouth Sheds. Sir Topham Hat was already there waiting for him. Well done, you four. Great work. He then turned to James. Fancy letting your freight cars beat you to the punch. I'm very surprised. You're not fit to be seen in that appearance. Rarity will take you to the steamworks to be cleaned at once. Uh. Oh, how divine! I can't wait to give my Jamesy a nice, good bubble bath. Toby, you will also go to the steamworks to have a new coat of paint as your reward. Please, sir, can Henrietta have one too? Also, can I go with them, sir? They might need some extra hooves for the job. Why, certainly. You two earned it. Yee-haw! Toby will now be spruced up like a fixin' up an old barn with termites. Oh, thank you, sir. She will be pleased. All James could do now was to watch Toby and Applejack as they ran off happily with the good news. <laughs>